Let's imagine that a decade ago, owning a Rolex, particularly a Submariner, seemed financially out of reach, priced at around £3,000. Determined, you set a goal to work hard, increase your income, and eventually acquire that coveted Submariner. Fast forward 10 years and you're confronted with a staggering price tag of £6,500. Your dream appears to be slipping away, but don't lose hope just yet. The recent price hikes at Rolex and in the broader Rolex Oyster perpetual industry have been quite surprising. Inflation and limited availability are turning what was once considered a significant milestone purchase into an increasingly unattainable goal. The growing popularity of Tudor serves as a clear illustration of the gap widening in the wake of Rolex's remarkable ascent. Ironically, the escalating prices have only heightened the desire to own a Rolex, even though the wishful thinking of wanting something badly has never made it more affordable. Inflation alone can't be solely blamed. The £3,000 you aimed for 10 years ago, adjusted for inflation, would be around £4,000 today. However, you find yourself falling short by about £2,500 or 60%, a substantial gap. The submariner dream seems elusive, especially if you don't have plans to cultivate a money tree that grows faster than the ascending prices of Rolex watches. It appears that options are running thin. If the dream of owning a submariner feels out of reach due to rising prices, there's a more budget-friendly yet still prestigious option. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual. It's like the younger, simpler sibling of the Rolex family, ranging from 26 to 39mm. The 39mm version, for example, offers a choice of 5 colors for the watch face, classic black or white, cool grey, deep blue and even a stylish purple. The Oyster Perpetual keeps things basic with just a second hand in the middle, no extra frills, making it a more affordable but still authentic Rolex experience. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual keeps things simple and classic. From its smooth, polished edges to the timeless face without a date, brushed case, and easy-to-close clasp, it's all about simplicity. Unlike some other fancy Rolex watches, this one doesn't boast super waterproofing, shiny ceramic, or a crowded face with lots of words. Even on the inside, it stays old school with a 48-hour certified engine that keeps accurate time. The balance has three springs, and it's sealed to handle going 100 meters underwater. It may not have all the bells and whistles of pricier Rolex watches, but it's a lot more affordable and offers the best value you can get from Rolex right now. The big question here is, does the Rolex Oyster Perpetual hold its own against the dream submariner you've been eyeing? Is it worth the money or will you regret your purchase? The best way to find out is by checking out the Rolex Oyster Perpetual review. So can this straightforward watch live up to your grand dreams? It might seem basic and not too thrilling, but that's exactly what makes it great. Let's dive deeper into the review to see if it's the right fit for you. It feels like a distant memory, doesn't it? The time when Rolex watches were straightforward, sturdy, and well-crafted. The fewer words on the dial, the sleeker case, the simpler the design, the better. But a lot has changed, and not just in terms of money, over the past decade. The luxury aspect has taken over the watch industry, distancing these timepieces from their roots and diluting the original spirit and mission of the companies that create them. Some might argue that it's a positive shift, while others may disagree. However, what we can all agree on is that we've collectively become somewhat immune to the impact of these changes. Once upon a time, a Rolex was like a superhero watch. Tough, no nonsense, and ready for action on its jangly bracelet. If you were window shopping at a jeweler's 10 years back, it would likely be the Submariner catching your eye. As we approach a decade since the ceramic bezel Submariner came into play, 
let's take a stroll down memory lane and remember how Rolex watches used to be. Picture this with the Oyster Perpetual. The dial is neat, the case is tidy, and the proportions are more old school compared to the bulky watches today. But here's the real magic. It's a throwback, a trip down memory lane that doesn't bring back the things Rolex used to do that, let's be honest, are better off left in the past. No weird cuts, no flimsy links, and definitely no clasp that looks like it got punched out from a soda can. The Oyster Perpetual is like a vintage Rolex time machine, minus the things you'd rather forget. Imagine the Oyster Perpetual as a car, like a Singer Porsche. It's got the look, the sound, and drives just the way it should. The best part? You don't have to deal with all the old-timey stuff that could leave you stuck on the road or in a bush. It's like getting new brakes, suspension, electrics, and a rebuilt engine for your classic ride. It's a perfect mix, the good parts of the past with the perks of today. The Oyster Perpetual gives you a feeling close to trying on a Submariner from 10 years back, not the ones you see today. Slip it on and it feels just right, like it should be there without you even noticing. But when you hold it, you sense the strong build of a modern Rolex, just as it should be. If there was a singer for Rolex, this would be it, closest you can get. And guess what? A singer Porsche costs way more than a new 911, making the Oyster Perpetual an even better deal. Feeling a bit let down by how pricey the Submariner has become? No worries, the Oyster Perpetual is here to cheer you up. If you've been dreaming of owning a Rolex forever, trying out the Oyster Perpetual is like getting a taste of pure Rolex goodness. Forget about it being a baby Rolex or a cheaper version. It's the real deal for true Rolex fans. So if you've been a Rolex admirer for as long as you can remember, the Oyster Perpetual is the watch you've been waiting for. And that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us at Venti Chic. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you're always in the loop for our latest updates. Until next time, see you in our next video.